welcome back to, uh, Metroid Other M. Where do we leave off? Hey, where did me and Waifu leave off at? We were about to ha we were about to fight something. No, we went through here. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, this thing. This thing. We're about to fight this thing. Then it flies. Sorry, I did not know what happened there. I did not know what happened. Okay, let's try it again without dying. I think I found a way. I I think I've uh, found a way on how to knock him out of the sky. You're gonna have to take all of my energy, sweetheart. I'm gonna have to take all of my energy. Sorry for the beeping, that's my Wii mode. Whoa! Are oh, you gonna fly again? Yep, he's gonna fly again. Oh no! Wait, uh... Why couldn't I do that? He just kept flying! Oh, there we go! Wait. Oh, yep, there you go. Never mind. Here he goes! What is he doing? What is he doing? Well, we got that done. Thank gosh. I do not want to go through that again. Gotta get to the uh, next save. That way I can face Ridley in the next uh, episode. I don't have time for you.
we're back here again. Oh no, we're supposed to go the other way. I was supposed to go the other way. Mm, I gotta get back over there. Stupid. Hold on, I may be going the right way. I may be going the right way. Super missile. Please don't let this be. Ow. Alright, let me just save. I gotta go all. Do I have to go all the way back? Get out of the way. Ah, mm. oh, Jesus. I tried. I tried. I so tried. I got lost. Hey. Okay, I got lost. Now I need to go back to where I came from. Sweetie. Or can I go back from where I came from? Like there's uh there's these things I need to reach. There, that way is locked. <sighs> Sorry, I'm lost. I'm trying to get to the next navigation room. Just gotta be a way to get over there, though. Okay, here we go. Us babies, the small babies. Let's not worry about these guys. Except for the big one that, and that's gonna be standing in uh, my way.
Okay, I made it. Now what? Do I have to go? Hey, do I have to reach Ridley? Yep. Oh, this is gonna take a ton. Hey. Okay, and believe it or not, this is going to take a ton of tries. And we're gonna watch a cutscene. Another empty shell. The Queen Metroid do this? No, she doesn't. And she doesn't appear until later, later, and later in the game. Whenever I reach Sector Zero. Light princess. <laughs> Get out the way. There it is. But it's too late. Hey, fun fact! Did you know that this stage was in Dead or Alive Dimensions? Thank good. The only one thing to do, huh? Let's tear this thing up. Wait, Anthony. Leave this one to me. Don't waste your plasma. Thanks. Samus when she was a little baby, uh, a little child.
Hey, hey, punk! I think you upset him. Watch out for his tail. It's too late. Now, where were we? Alright, how did I... Okay, I got this. I was trying to uh, shoot uh, shoot him while he was still in that form, and I can't do that. You could shoot him in the sky. You could shoot him in the sky. Yes, keep doing that. Keep doing that. He's mixing things up. Hold on, wait a minute. Yep, he's mixing things up. I do not want to die in a cutscene. Alright, here we go, here we go. Gotta shoot him. I wasn't ready! You didn't give me an alert, buddy. Yeah, this is gonna take a ton it is gonna take a few tries. Like after you die, he start mixing thing uh, mixing things up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go with the flying. Gotta watch out for that tail. All of his attacks are really strong. Okay, here we go. Gotta charge again. Oh, wait. Alright, here we go. Is he trying to grab me? Oh! God! Oh, that took a lot out of me! Can I charge? Please, 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 please! Oh! Yes! Why are you trying to grab me? All right, gotta shoot him. Oh my god, the perfect god tier run. Let's go. Wow, that was that was overwhelming though. It was pretty amazing. I did not want to get stuck on that forever, but that was pretty amazing. Woo! Oh my gosh. He's hurt! 
Oh, he wanted to take you with him. He won't get far. He'll just make it this uh, I sector zero. wondered if Anthony was conscious as he hit bottom. Unbearable thoughts welled up in me, making me want to get as far away as I could. I regretted not being able to protect him. And I regretted thinking, even for a moment, that he would betray me. Or fail to come to my aid at the expense of his own safety. Yeah, well, like I said before, uh, uh, also, let me say this, uh, sweetheart, you did what you could. You just let, yeah, uh, you just let your, uh, emotions get, uh, get to you while remembering your past. And that's what, that's what almost cost you your life against Ridley. But you did what you could. He did, a uh, what he was doing was stalling Ridley, so that way you can, uh, power back up and try to take him on. I uh, take Ridley on. But he survived. Uh, Rid uh, Anthony is alive in the ending. But also, let me say this. Uh, fun fact. Did you know that this stage, this stage here, is in Dead or Alive Dimensions? And uh, I do like playing in this stage in that game, because, like, Ridley's just in the background just shooting at us. <laughs> And there, there should be a way to trigger Samus. Like, I think if you hit one of these things, she may come out. Like, she just comes out in a morph ball and just power bombs the whole stage. There's nothing in here. Find all of that stuff in um. You find all of that stuff in uh, how, uh on the normal mode, which I I do like some of the I, I do like finding a, a lot of those a lot of those missiles and E tanks most of the time in the, no, in the normal mode, but I like to get through a story too. Lava's below us. But man, is this game fun. Boss battles are so fun, but when like when you're when you're on a harder difficulty, things do get tough. And that's what I like about games all the time. Like when you beat, uh, like when you, whenever you're playing on a harder difficulty, and you die most of the time, it it makes you Something think after your mistakes. Communication with Adam had ceased. From the deleter's point of view, Adam would represent the largest threat. Without question, his life had to be in danger. But it was Adam Malkovich. He wouldn't go down easily. And Adam would already know about the deleter. So there's no way he would let his guard down. If that was the case, then why couldn't I reach him? What did he think of the unfolding situation? And what was he planning to do next? My racing thoughts started to frustrate me. Don't think too much of it. You 
he's heading to Sector 1. Why are we chasing after this man? What is his sole purpose? And why did he vanish? Uh, I have asked Kyle, but he does not remember. Kyle asked the other people. Hey, right, Kyle asked the other uh, Galactic Federation members. And then he, uh, then they asked Samus. But Samus did not recall on Even Miss Samus, I mean, even Samus Aaron did not recall on Oh great, these guys! Can I jump on your head? No, uh, I suppose not. My body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of Adam Malkovich. Oblivious to his destiny, but he's still inconvenient on the search for truth. But he knows why he was called here. And why did the small the small group of the Galactic Federation attack along with him? Oh, I'm not even going the right way. Let me jump all the way down. I came here. Sorry, I have no time for the bugs. Ow. Alright. How did he get all How did he get through here? There's no way he got me got a There's no way he has a grapple beam. Not important. How are you standing up there like that? I'm asking too many questions. Looks back like any objections, lady. Oh, he activates a little gift for you. Any objections, Adam? Yeah, I got space jump.
are just chasing this guy down. I don't like how Samus is the, uh, is like just the narrator of the story. She's really, she is a little insecure on what is going on. But she worries too much about Adam, though. I do get that she is a bounty hunter and all. Just for the fact that she's worrying about Adam. I came here because I intercepted the distress call. I'm a bounty hunter. And I know that something is after you. Please, you must believe me. She believes. Thank you. I'm Samus Aaron. What's your name? Madeline Bergman. But you're in B. Behind closed doors, the Galactic Federation was trying to create a special forces unit composed of bioweapons. In order to make it happen, they were attempting to create an organization modeled after the space pirates with the Zabesians at the center. But because of a certain presence, the life forms became ferocious. We were no longer able to control them. By a certain presence, she must have meant Ridley. So you sent out the distress signal, even though it endangered your life? I had to. I felt there was a real danger here, that if left as is, the Zabesians would continue to evolve and resurrect as real space pirates. If that danger was real, then the risk of withholding information to protect herself was too great, clearly. And yet, wasn't she the one who set the facility's system to self-destruct? In silence, I praised her courage and sense of responsibility. At the same time, her argument had some holes. Say that the Zabesians, under Ridley's influence, became super aggressive. Would that really lead to the resurrection of the space pirates? Without a malicious force to lead them down that path, wouldn't they continue to merely follow their instincts, ultimately becoming no more than a swarm of feral creatures? But you destroyed them. Regardless. It was clear that the Galactic Federation was ready to consign their enormous mistake to oblivion. And that's why they sent a deleter. And as for Madeline and others who knew the secret? But wait. There was another inconsistency in her story. Why go to such lengths at all? With just a small flexing of the Galactic Federation's military force, they should have been able to destroy a facility of this scope with ease. So why didn't they? Actually, there was an even more dangerous plan. Come with me.
What? That's not possible. The Metroids were terminated along with Zebis. Yes. And the last of them, the baby, met its end above my head. You're Samus Aran, right? The one who annihilated the space pirates? Metroid remnants were attached to your suit when you returned from Zebus. Yeah. They were reproduced from a piece of cell structure salvaged by the Federation, and they are in this facility. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. And Ridley in the same way. At first, no one thought that the creature was Ridley. They didn't think it had potential as a bioweapon at all. They raised it like a pet, calling it Little Birdie. Until one day, it attacked one of the researchers and got away. Ridley had played dead and lured the scientist into his cage. What was left? It was a horrible sight. But in order to control Metroids, you need Mother Brain's telepathy. You don't. You didn't recreate a Mother Brain clone, did you? It's artificial intelligence. We developed an AI program that would reproduce Mother Brain's thought processes. We called it MB. But it was just a program. It wasn't the mother herself. MB evolved as it communicated with the Metroids. It appears as though it began to become self-aware, much like the original mother brain. It's really quite remarkable. That's when it became clear to me just why Madeline was so afraid of the space pirate's resurrection. It wasn't that her story had holes in it. Through the holes were glimpses of the danger that was right before her eyes. If everything she said was true... Where are the Metroids and MB? They're in an area called Sector Zero. It's a unit that doesn't appear in any of our map data. I think it's that's because like Taurus, it's a baby. Where we propagate and raise Metroids. I began to see what the worst case scenario would look like. The ultimate weapon, the Metroid, would be mass produced. And as soon as an AI that could control them was developed, the plan to create a special forces unit modeled after the space pirates was replaced. But as the AI called MB spun out of control, the facility became a place much like the planet Zebus. If the situation were left alone, Galactic society would be put in peril. Even the ringleaders of the operation wanted to avoid that, but they still wanted the Metroids. And that's why. They decided to capture the Metroids contained in Sector Zero and delete the rest of the facility, including the space pirates, Ridley, and everyone who knew the secret. But before the ringleaders could act, Adam appeared. Adam might have known or suspected the truth about the facility from the beginning. Regardless, since the ringleaders were members of the Galactic Federation, they could no longer act recklessly. And so a deleter was installed as a member of Adam's team to destroy evidence and plan each subsequent move. But having me added on as a member must have disrupted the Galactic Federation's plans. Madeline, thanks for telling me all this. I've got to destroy the Metroids and MB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. I think it's a little Don't too worry. late for that. The Galactic Federation CO who's here now will help you. You're safe. Does that CO happen to be... Commander Adam Malkovich? Who will come uh, around in a few seconds to blast you?
The real leader of this operation is Commander Malkovich. I can't believe that he's here. Stay here until I return. It won't be for long. <laughs> Soon as you leave, Adam's gonna come uh, 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 come in from behind one of those corners and actually shoot her. Yep, like I said. You know he was holding a freeze gun! And besides, that Madeline, uh, that Madeline Bergman in B is an android. And there's no way she could react in time, because if you, uh, if androids actually get, um, they come in contact with, uh, weapons that, uh, weapons that, um, Shoot ice or water? Who knew? Uh, she would have just started to function. Sorry for that long cutscene. I just wanted to, you know, I really wanted to watch that. And those who get, who get bored watching this, just like, just like, skip to some good parts. Uh, just skip to some good parts. And this game is not, oh, man, this game is not all boring. I like it. Wait, I'm not going to write it. No, I went from that way. That's where it goes the other way. Yeah, we have to go all the way into Sector A, uh, Sector Zero, by entering Sector Two in a secret place that dwells in Sector Two. Not you again! I faced you already! through this again. But I got to. And she's running our own. My uh, my hands were on the uh and uh, my finger was on the what uh, on the one button I uh, uh, on the uh one button. Which is the button that charges up her uh her cannon uh, her arm cannon and I'm gonna stop talking and concentrate.
you get things done faster, you don't talk. Now I got seeker missiles. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to uh, face nightmare once I get there. Then he controls gravity, and I gotta not let him, uh. Well, he does it anyway, even if I attack him. So, what is there to do? Gotta go to sector two. This elevator is bound for sector two. Wow, you could have said uh, 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 a weird warning in sector two, but in the lower regions of it. I can't go through there. I'm gonna have to go all the way through there. And it's it's a perfect time to stop here. By the way, thank you for watching. And I'll be happy to do more of this. Without further ado, uh oh. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you didn't see the previous episode, uh, be sure to do the uh, previous episode, so uh, be sure to do that. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. I really need to create a Metroid series for this, even though I'm doing it.